Hi, my name's Elaine Penrose and I'm a partner in the Financial Services Litigation Department at Hogan Lovells. I'm also one of the firm's graduate recruitment partners. Well, I mean, obviously we're looking for bright candidates, but it's not just academic intelligence. What we really want are candidates who can think outside the box and who can find practical and commercial solutions to a client's problems and articulate them. So strong communication skills are also an absolute must. The advice I would give is first and foremost, do your research. Make sure you know exactly what it is the firm is looking for and make sure that you can articulate to that firm when you attend the interview exactly why you think you'd be a good fit and why you want to join that firm. The second thing um, is be yourself. Um, we don't want carbon copies. We don't want people to be all the same. You know, we at Hogan Lovells value diversity. So be yourself, try to relax and try to enjoy the interview. Um, and finally, be enthusiastic. Genuinely show an interest, show engagement at the interview. What we want from our trainees is a can-do attitude, attitude. So if you show enthusiasm at the interview, you're part of the way there. I think I would say get as much work experience as possible. Uh, when I was an undergraduate, I don't think I took the opportunities as much as I could have. There are so many opportunities to get work experience and it's really vital when you apply that you can show you have that experience. And it's not just legal work experience, it's any kind of work experience that you can show that you've developed some kind of commercial awareness. So open days, VAC schemes, any kind of summer job are all going to be just as valuable, but make sure you get as much as you can. I've thought long and hard about what an average day might look like, and I can honestly say there really is no average day. But I will give you an example of a day last week. Um, so we, we were instructed first thing in the morning by our clients on an injunction, a very urgent one for a hearing the next day. So during that day, we then had to instruct counsel. I had to put together a team of trainees and associates. We had to gather evidence. We had to put together our case. Um, we had to draft witness statements and get that all in overnight for a hearing the next day. But my day didn't just stop because that had happened. I also had a lunch with vacation scheme students who were here for three weeks. Um, and I also had a conference with counsel on another matter in the afternoon. I'd also had the night before uh, an evening event, a pro bono event, called Legally Ballroom, which had gone late into the late hours. So all in all, it was a pretty action-packed 24 hours. Um, I wouldn't say that every day is that hectic, but it's certainly that diverse.